There's nothing like chilling with my girls Just me and my divas taking over the world What's up, divas and divas? I hope you guys are having a great day. You know what I'm saying? As myself as well, just chilling with my mama here. So today's video is going to be a bob haircut. You guys, you know, sometimes the bob has grown on me, sometimes it hasn't. But look, girl, I got these big earrings on, so we're gonna make it pop, sha pop. At least we're gonna try to. Yeah, that's just about it. We just gonna get into this video. I'm going to show you guys how your wig comes. Oh, did I forget that part? No, I did. I didn't. It's there. Okay, let's just get into this stuff. Alright guys, so I'm just going to get into this really quick. You guys already know the jazz. I did bleach this unit, but in certain spots it over bleached and in certain spots it did not lift. So honestly, I ended up doing this video twice. I had to do it over because I wasn't really happy at the way it ended, like the style of it and so forth. So I had to do it over. You know, after I looked at the footage, I was just kind of like not really pleased at how I styled it. So Wig Encounters has some really great wigs. This one, um, it's a nice wig. The texture is really great, but I really don't like where the ac actual ending is at, where it is a five by five closure. But if you can see on the sides, the tracks are a little bit too far out and they're a little bit too thick. So it's very noticeable. So you have to definitely camouflage that. And that's the reason why I did the video over. Now there is light spots in the front, as you guys can tell. And then there's spots that were not lifted at all. So I'm definitely going to be fixing the light spot in the front where the bleach seeped through. But for right now, I'm just going to style the wig. I did use my hairspray, which is the got to be insta hold, to just lay it down the front. I didn't really have any intentions to stick the wig down, but for the purpose of the video, I just decided to go ahead with it. Now, like I said, I waited two weeks to redo like the second part of the video, only because I had to put my computer in the shop and I just was like on the fence about the wig, like how can I do it better? So if you see right here, I'm trying to cover up that track on the side. And if you see at the end as well, there is a piece, but I will get into more detail about that. So for now, I just put the baby hairs like this and I'm going to lift them up off of my hairline after I finish styling the wig. 
But for right now, I just leave them like that so that way they can get some type of style and sculpt or, you know, format down. And then I'll definitely brush them up because I really don't like them glued down to my head. So I did use my elastic band that I've created just to hold the baby hairs in place. And I decided to flat iron the hair because I honestly was going to wear it straight. And that's how I actually did the first part of the first video. But then, like I said, when I looked at the footage, I was like, girl, you, you have to do better. Wear your glasses because this is not cute. And I'll definitely show you guys how it came out. But I definitely did change the style up. And I think it looks a lot better from when it first did. The hair is super easy to hot comb. It's a really nice kinky texture. It's very flowy, so it's not stiff. Like you have, like, I don't know if you guys ever noticed, but some kinky hair, some yakky hair it's kind of stiff it doesn't flow freely this one does flow freely the texture is really nice and soft it's not too textured and it's not too soft but it's a very nice and natural kinky texture so it's definitely believable so now that i went ahead and removed that i'm just gonna go ahead now like i was saying and i'm just going to kind of like brush the, the the wispy hairs the baby hairs out of place i just don't like them stuck to my head but i really was trying to focus on that closure piece because it was just too thick at the edges and it was very noticeable but for right now i'm just going to use some of my pressed powder because some of these knots did not lift and i don't know if that was my fault because when it comes to the hairline i don't really put a lot on the hairline just because i don't want the hairline to thin out now this is where i'm just going to fix it real quick by using just my eyeliner pen i also did go in with a mascara wand and i did use some hair dye which is right here that's me using a hair dye on the mascara wand so this is where it didn't look too bad but i don't know i just wasn't feeling it um straight like this it kind of i just wish i would have maybe put the part elsewhere i just definitely wasn't feeling it straight like this and it does look cute but for some reason in the pictures it just looked kind of wonky and i really thought like this particular hair will look really good style with like some loose curls you definitely could wear it straight but you know as you see my facial expression I wasn't too pleased with the come out of it being straight so I just decided two weeks later to hook it back up and this is the ending of the video so you guys just let me know what you think of how it came out. Alright you guys so I had to do this video over because when I looked at the footage of the way I styled the hair it looked horrible like the part looked bad and this time put like some curls in it I just used a one and a half inch barrel to curl this because I really wasn't feeling it straight like that and because of the way the actual closure is there's a piece right here that's a little bit bulky to me which is the end of where the closure ends I did need to hide it and I didn't think like the straight hair was good for that so I just wanted to give it some volume so that way it's just a lot easier to conceal plus because I didn't I did bleach it, but I wish I would have did a better job in certain areas versus certain areas I kind of like over bleached because the bleach seeped through. But you know, this hair texture though is really nice. It does curl super easy. You ever get that one little strand of hair that just 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 pisses you off? So that's what it's doing on this side. That footage was so bad. Like I'm definitely going to show you guys the clip. You know, I need to start wearing my glasses more because then I could have seen what it looked like versus what I looked like on um you know on the computer and I just was like oh god no that's like I can't I, I can't put that up so I definitely had to redo this portion over plus it did take me a little bit longer to do it over because I did put my desktop in the computer shop just so I could have it upgraded so it could be a lot faster so I was without my desktop and I do use it to record as a monitor. I cannot use that little screen that comes with the camera because girl, I can't see as it is. I mean, I do use it, it is slipped open, but a girl can't see. And I definitely can't see and tell if I'm blurry or not from the camera screen because I'm already seeing blurry. But yeah, so you wanna definitely check out Wig Encounters. They have a lot of nice units. This one is really cute. It just depends on, listen, make sure that you bleach the knots really well in any unit. But I like the hair texture of this Yaki hair because it's very flowy and it's super easy to curl, which I was really impressed with. Um, I just wasn't a big fan of this piece right here at the end. And I did notice that with like this other wig, closure wig that I have to do over again because of that same little piece. So, you know, I wish that when they 
do like the very edges that they use like a single track just so that way it's not so dark and bulky because that's a double with the track so it kind of makes it kind of raise up a little bit it doesn't sit flash flush to the head which is a downfall so that was the main issue that i was having with this wig but other than that you know it's cute you know it's cute it is definitely workable and you can wear it straight or you can curl it up make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up please and i will see you guys in the next video Get em, spin em, but lunch in my shoe in the denim. I put the records on them. Big mans can't bend them. Ops, we hit em. Fuck em off, we bend em.